guys, CCC family, it's Dawn Marie with Custom Comfy Crochet and today we're going to learn how to do this beautiful braided stitch. Um, this is a Turkish braided stitch and um, I would love to show you how to do it because it's just absolutely beautiful. Now for what I'm doing today for the swatch I'm going to show you how to do, I'm going to be using a 5.5 millimeter hook and I'm just going to be using some scrap yarn that I have on hand. I'm using two different colors. There's pretty solid colors. For this one I use a, used a variegated color. So a lot of times when we see pictures of stuff and then we watch them do it, it's a little different. I used a smaller hook for this one. So if you want it to look exactly like this that you see in the thumbnail and right here, I used a 3.75 millimeter hook and I used two worsted weight, I think there are three yarns, so they're a little bit smaller um, than your regular yarn. So what we're going to make today is going to look a little bit thicker, it might look a little bit different, the pattern's exactly the same. I just really wanted it to be able to pick up well on camera, so I don't like to use super small needles on camera. Um, but yeah, so that's what you can do for this, that's the only difference. Now, I did another swatch to so show you, this is with a thicker yarn, however the colors are a little bit too similar, um, but this is the, the difference that you'll see in the thickness of it. Okay, so that's the difference. You might need a pair of scissors and a darning needle just to work in your ends. Um, to use two different colors is the best for this. You can change colors every other row like this if you want, but you're going to be, um, you're going to be uh, working in probably a lot of ends. So just keep that in mind. I think it's best to either use two solid colors and switch or to use a variegated yarn that changes like this one on its own. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Okay, so let's get into the tutorial. I'm going to start off with this dark navy blue that I have, and I'm going to make a slip knot, and then I'm going to chain 33. Now, keep that in mind for whatever project you're doing. If you want to make it bigger or smaller, you could do, um, you know, 66, or, you know, just keep going up higher and higher. So let's do a chain of 33. Four, five, six, 31, 32, and 33. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my first uh, double treble crochet. We're going to be working with double trebles. I am going to show you how to do a double treble all along this first row in case you don't know how. And then as we go on further, I'm just going to refer to it as a double treble. If you have trouble with it, please rewind the video and keep practicing and you'll do great. But for, for this, we're going to work into the fifth stitch from the hook. So one, two, three, four, and five. And in this fifth stitch, we're going to work a double treble. So we're going to wrap around our hook three times and go into this fifth stitch here. And then we're going to go through two, we're going to go through two, we're going to go through two, and we're going to go through two. And then this right here counts as our first one. So again, do a double treble in the next stitch. We're going to wrap around our hook three times, go into our next stitch, pull up a loop. Right now we have five loops on our hook. We're going to go through two, that leaves four, go through two, that leaves three, go through two, that leaves two, and then go through your final two. Okay? And that's three double trebles right there. So then we need to chain three and we need to skip three. So one, two, three, and into the fourth stitch, we're going to put another double treble. Wrap around your hook three times, go into the fourth stitch, go through two, go through two, go through two, and go through two. And then another double treble into your next stitch. Go through two, go through two, go through two, go through two. And in the next stitch, another double treble. Go through two, go through two, go through two, go through two. And then you will chain three again. One, two, and three and you will skip three again. One, two, three, and in the fourth stitch, work a double treble. Wrap your yarn around your hook three times, go into the fourth stitch, pull up a loop. You have five loops. Go through your first two loops. That leaves four on your hook. 
Go through your next two loops, that leaves three. Go through your next two loops, that leaves two. And go through your final two loops. And again, in your next stitch, you're going to do another double treble. Go through two, 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 and two. And again, wrap around your hook three times, go into your next stitch, through two, go through two, go through two, go through two. Then chain three, and skip three. One, two, three, and in the fourth stitch, put another double treble. Wrap around your hook three times, Go through two, go through two, go through two, go through two, go through two. Okay, and again, wrap around your hook three times, go into your next stitch, pull up, go through two, go through two, go through two, go through two. And another one. Go through two, go through two, go through two, go through two. And then chain three. Skip your next three stitches. One, two, three, go into the fourth. And do a double treble. One, two, three, four. And go do a double treble in your next stitch. And do another double treble in the next stitch. And now you have three stitches left, okay? And we're not gonna work into those. We're gonna leave this just like this. I'm going to pull out my yarn into a big loop like that and I'm going to place a stitch marker right here just to hold it into place so it doesn't come undone. Okay guys, so this is when we're going to bring in our other color. We're going to bring it in into these last three stitches. So follow exactly what I tell you to do from here on out and to make it a lot easier. So you're going to flip your work and you're going to start working in these stitches right here, these three stitches. So I'm going to go right into the first one and I'm going to bring in my other color. Just like this, this is how I like to bring in my color. You can do it any way you want. I'm going to tighten that up there. Then I'm going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then I'm going to do a double treble in my next stitch. One, two, three, wrapped around my hook, go into my next stitch, and do a double treble. Then I'm going to do a double treble in my next stitch. Just like that. Okay, so now I'm going to put this yarn over here. Okay, so now what we need to do, point our work downward. So our, our work now is pointed this way, and now we're working across the back side of our work here. Okay, so now we've got these three double troubles, and now we're going to chain three, one, two, and three. And we're going to do a double treble in each of these three stitches here, these chain threes right here. So we're going to do a double treble in this first chain space here, chain stitch I mean. And then we're going to do one in the next. And then we're going to do one in the next one. Okay, then you're going to chain three again. And then you're gonna be working 
in this chain three space here, but you're going to be working in the actual stitches. So again, you're going to work a double treble in each stitch. So there's one, and then a double treble in the next. and then a double treble in the next. Continue doing this until the end of the row. And now you're done with that row. So you're gonna have these three over here, that's okay, just leave them be, all right? So then we're gonna take our, our stitch marker right here and we're gonna place it right there so that doesn't come undone. And then we're going to fold this up together like this, okay? So then you fold it up your work like this and now we're going to be working with the dark blue, okay? So what you need to do is you take your stitch marker out and I'm gonna turn my work ever so slightly to do a chain. So I'm gonna chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And this is just so that the, it doesn't get twisted, okay? Then I can flip it right back over. And now I'm going to be working with the dark blue on top of the light blue, okay? So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to work a double treble into my next stitch. Then I'm going to work a double treble in my next stitch, but instead of going through it just normally, I'm gonna pick up the light blue in the back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the top of my first uh, chain of five here. So one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna go right in there and then come through and do a double treble. Okay, so now I've secured my work to the light blue. Now we're going to be working over here. So again, you need to chain three. One, two, and three. And now we're gonna be working in the top of these. So go over and do a double cr treble crochet. Go into this stitch right here, into this next stitch. So we've skipped the chain of three, we're going into the next stitch. But then we're also gonna pick up in the chain space in the back. So we're gonna go through the back pull up our yarn and do a treble crochet, a double treble, just like that. And then we're gonna do that again. And it's kind of like going to the side and that's okay, that's what we want it to do. And then we're gonna go through the back of that stitch and go through the chain three space. And we're gonna do that one more time. Just like that. Okay, then we're going to chain three again. And we're going to do the same thing in our next, on the top of our next three dark blue trebles. We're going to go through and then we're going to go into the chain three space that's behind it to the side. And again. and again top of this treble and then pick up the chain space right over here and this does get easier as you go and again chain three and do a double treble into your next previous double treble but also going through the back right there of the chain three space and into the next of so the, the next one and pulling up right here in the back going around that chain of three space
and chain three again. And do the same thing again. Going through the back right here. Now these can be kind of hard because this is when we first did our, our first one. So we need to make sure that we work in the top of both of those. So I'm gonna make sure that I find the very top of each stitch, go through the back, pull that up, go through and do our double treble and one more. And remember to catch the top of this first one that we did and then go through the back. Okay. And now we finished with that row. This is what it looks like. Pull this stitch up, or your loop rather, pull your loop up, put your stitch marker back, and then we're gonna be working with the light blue again. Turn your work over like this. And now we're going to be undoing this uh, stitch marker here and picking up our light blue. So I might have to turn my work just a little bit like I did before to do my chain of five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then I can just lay that back and start working as normal. So now on the top of these three stitches, I'm going to do, or two rather, because this one counts as our first double treble, I'm going to be doing a double treble. So go into your next stitch to do your double treble. Go into your next. And now this is the most important thing about this. Uh, and you're gonna keep repeating what I'm telling you to do on and on. But now what you wanna do is you wanna fold this blue part down. Fold it down like this. Don't fold it back. Don't try to not fold it. Just do it exactly like this. So you fold your work down and you work over the dark blue. So I'm gonna move that other color out of the way. I'm going to chain three, one, two, and three. And now I'm going to be working into the light blue under the dark blue, okay? So let me show you how you're gonna do this. So you've got this folded over. You can see your stitches right here that you need to be working on the top of. And of course, you're gonna be working your double trebles. And when you do this first double treble, you're also gonna go under this chain three space in the back, just like this. And again, another double treble on the top of this one, and then working under the chain three space in the back. And again, working under this space in the back. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And again, you will chain three. And you're gonna skip all of this and be working on top of the light blue. So do a double treble in the top of this stitch and catching under the back of the chain of three space. And again, the top of the next one and the dark blue color in the back. And again, and turn, if you need to turn your work over so you can see, you can do like this. And chain three and another double treble on the top of these. So you just do this all the way down, making sure to catch the blue here in the back. Okay. 
and chain three again. And now we're on our last three here. And work your double trebles on top of these blue, the light blue here, catching the dark blue in the back. And one more. Okay, and now we're done with that row. You're gonna pull your loop up, put your stitch marker back, and now you can pull this up just like this. Okay, and as you can see, the pattern is starting to form. Now we're gonna be working on this side, okay? So I'm gonna pull out my stitch, mar uh, my stitch marker. I'm gonna turn my work ever so slightly. Chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. Turn my work back. And now we're going to be repeating what we did before, but I wanna show you how to do it again. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to work a double treble in your next stitch. And then a double treble in the next. But in this one, you're gonna go through that stitch and then you're also gonna go through the first stitch that you did here. So at the top of this chain of five, one, two, three, four, five, you're going to pick up that stitch to pull it through and then do a double treble. And so now those two are connected. Okay. Now you're going to chain three, one, two, and three. And now you're going to be working double trebles on the top of these stitches, but you're also going to be going through the back of this chain three here, right here. So you'll go around that like this and work a double treble. And then you'll do that again. And go behind. And again, and then go behind, catching that light blue color there, chain three space. That's what it looks like. And again, chain three. Do another double treble on the top of this these double trebles and hit this three chain three space from behind and go around and pull up your work. And do that again. And again. Okay, and then chain three again. And double treble on the top of your next ones. So you're skipping this chain of three here and then you're going into your next uh, available stitch and you're doing a double treble but you're also picking up the light blur. I say picking up because it's you're joining it together by going around it. So you're going to go around that, pull up your work, go through two, go through two, go through two, go through two. And now I'll need to do that one again. <laughs> And into the next stitch. Okay. 
and into the next. Okay. Then you're going to chain three again. And you're going to do this one more time. Skip these three and work into the next with your double trebles. Picking up this chain three space behind. So there's one double treble. And again. And make sure you get into this last one. It can be kind of hard to get into. And then pick up the light blue in the back into that chain space. Okay, and now we're done with that row. Now you're going to pull out your hook, put your stitch marker, and now we're going to turn our work again. And now we're going to be working with the light blue. Okay, so you're going to undo this stitch marker. You're going to turn your work ever so slightly and do your first chain of five. One, two, three, four, and five. Then move it back. And then you're going to work two double trebles on the top of the next two stitches. One. And then two. All right, then you're going to chain three. Remember, there's a chain three between all of these. And then you're going to fold your work down again, okay? So we're going to fold our work down. And we're going to be working over this again, just like we did before, but I wanted to show it to you again. So you're going to work a double treble. And so we're going to be working into the light blue that you see peeking through here. So you're going to go through your first available stitch right here, and you're going to go under the dark blue chain space behind it. And do a double treble. And then you're going to do that into the next stitch. And again, into the next. Okay, then chain three again. You're skipping this that we have folded over here and you're finding your light blue again or whatever color you're using for your secondary color here. And you're gonna be working the dub, uh, double treble right on top of these stitches, but also underneath this right here, the chain three. And again, And again, to your next stitch, and chain three, and do that again. We're going to skip these blue, dark blues right here, and we're going to be working into these light blue stitches here, going into our first stitch and going under this chain of three space. Now, if you're having trouble going along with this stitch, I would suggest stopping crocheting while you watch and just watch it, the video in its entirety, and then go back and try again. And then we have another double treble on the top of that one and another one on the top of this one, making sure to go around that chain three dark blue in the back. And now we're on our last one, chain three, And now we're going to be working in to this, these light blue right here. So again, go through and then go through the back. One. Two. 
to and three. And this last one can look a little curved, but that's okay. We're still picking up this space here in the back, going through. Okay, and then we can pull this out, put our stitch marker back, and then fold our work up, just like this. Just like that. And isn't that beautiful? And then you just keep doing that. Just what we just did, you just keep doing over and over and over again. This is what the black back looks like. Um, it's just absolutely beautiful. It's uh, reversible on both sides. So then what you would do is you would start now with the light blue. You would turn your work over, do the chain of five. Um, then uh, you would start doing just like we did before. So you just keep on doing the same thing over and over and over again and it just turns out absolutely beautiful so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial please subscribe below hit that red bell um, and get that all notifications so that you can get my videos if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask of course you can comment below in the youtube section comments or you can find me i have a gmail i have a uh, facebook page and i have an instagram and you can find all that below so i'll see you again soon in the next video happy crocheting bye bye